the wonderful world of Python on microcontrollers. This is video highlights from this week's newsletter. Ooh, there's so much good stuff Happy happening. Happy holidays from Adafruit. It's our holiday edition. Um, we thank everybody for being a reader and a subscriber. It's uh, our fastest growing newsletter. So check out adafruitdaily.com and sign up for Python on microcontrollers. CircuitPython snakes its way to Hackspace. This is an audio reactive NeoPixel mask that Sophie Wong made. Uh, that's our friend Drew on the cover. Purple. Yeah. Which is the color of CircuitPython. That's right. So that's cool. And uh, CircuitPython development the interactive way with Jupyter. Yeah, this is interesting. They actually updated the sent some pull requests in for our Jupyter kernel. This is very interesting because, you know, we use the REPL and Moo, which is a totally fine way to do it. But if you want, you can actually use Jupyter Notebooks and have, like, code chunks that then execute on the CircuitPython board and then the response comes back into your Jupyter Notebook. So it's a really, it's a different way of doing development, but if you like Jupyter Notebooks, you can use it with CircuitPython. It does work. And we also did our um, community outreach post-2019. Um, as 2019 comes to a close, we like to reflect on the year, set new goals for 2019. And in the past, we said, here's what CircuitPython's all about in 2017, 2018, this year. We want to make sure um, your input uh, continues to make it code plus community. And we have lots of different ways for you to let us know what features you want, what type of resources. That is not only in the newsletter, it's on blog posts, it's, it's pretty much everywhere. Next up. Um, this is, uh, we're pretty happy about this. I have a video that goes along with it. Mm -hmm. This is Python-powered hardware being viewed through an AR app that we just released. So when you get an Adafruit invoice and you bought a Circuit Playground Express, a Cricut, a Halloween, or I think Neo Trails will be yeah. on it soon, you can use this app um, for iOS and see this 3D model, watch videos, and go to the learn guides. And these are, uh, we're starting off with our Python powered stuff. So uh, here's a quick video that shows exactly what this is. Hey Trevor, how are you doing? I'm all right. Right now I'm testing out our new feature on our Adafruit AR app. Basically, our uh, invoices now come with these QR codes, and if you scan it with the Adafruit AR app, you get a little surprise. Let me show you real quick. All right? So you got that. That's the Halloween Express. That is the Sigurd Playground Express, and this is the Cricut for Sigurd Playground Express. All right? This one comes with a pretty cool feature. He hit assemble. You basically see the animation of it being assembled. If you hit play video, it plays one of our videos. And also... Say hello to Cricket, Adafruit's creative robotics platform. It's an add-on uh, This will take you right to the uh, Cricket Learn Guide. Nice. Okay, so that's on invoices now if you order one of those products? It's on invoices right now. Excellent. All right. Thank you, Trevor. Thank you. All right. Thanks, and Trevor. And that's Trevor, our iOS developer. Also, we have CircuitPython on Reddit. So if you're on Reddit and you want to take a look at some of the projects, um, these are links and more resources. We have a wiki, all that on You yeah, can post projects Reddit. or yeah. chat with people there. Um, we'll be checking in once in a while. We've, we've doubled the subscribers we've already. Doubled we still, <laughs> we're still mostly on Discord if you want to chit-chat, but yeah. uh, we always like to have... Well, wherever a, there's communities, we community like to have a, a, a space yeah. for people. So we're, like there. Reddit, we're there. Too. And there's some people who love Reddit. We get it. They're yeah. Redditors who use CircuitPython. Um, this is the photo from... Uh, Kent, you did a bunch of workshops. In and Chicago. More, and uh, this is a slide from it, so you can check out some of the... Um, Places that Kenny was at and more. It's links in the newsletter. And this is uh, this came in from the community. And we uh, checked this out and we posted it up right away. This is Neo Trellis Sand Demo. Yeah, this is the sand code that we've written. I think we wrote it for one of our, maybe it was our uh, new pixel wing or dot storing in. I don't, I don't remember. But um, somebody ported the code to the Neo Trellis and used the buttons and the tap detection so you can change the color and mode to super sweet. So the code is up in our repo. Um, it's also in the newsletter if you want to link to it. It's a pretty cool uh, Stemma connected Neo Trellis dual 12 bit DAC um, display. Uh, I think this is Cedar Grove, I think, did this one. Yeah, this, this is uh, C Grover. So they made a um, output controller for their CV gate synthesizer using the Neo Trellis as a controller, which is a, totally a project you can do. It's, we're, we're glad someone did it. I don't have um, something that takes a CV gate, but you got a DAC, use it. 
starting to see more projects using Raspberry Pi and CircuitPython and Python with Cricket. Uh, this person's doing a IBM Watson uh, project with mm. Cricket and Raspberry Pi, so we'll see more of that. It's kind of neat. This is uh, lots of variants of the operation game using Circuit Playground Express, Circuit Python. Um, at CCC this year, there is a talk. MicroPython, Python for microcontrollers. Yes. Check it out. We I have links to that. Uh, Christine. Yep, Christine uh, is a speaker. Using community. So uh, check that out if you happen to be going to that event. Uh, this is Nina. Nina posted up. She's, uh, I think, one of the people who work at Microsoft and, and specifically uh, in the world of Python. And she had slides before, and there was a couple camera, iPhone, Android photos of her Circuit Python earrings. But then someone got a good photo up online where you can see them. So uh, I put that in there. Yes, the Gemma NeoPixel ring coded in Circuit Python. Yeah. And then some other things in the world of Python. I thought this was neat. This is. Um, Another Cat detector. <laughs> Python on hardware example. It uses um, Raspberry Pi and some neat um, you know, TensorFlow type stuff, so you can see when your pet wants to go outside. Then um, some Moo news, made with Moo. Moo. Um, a little bit of uh, naming collision, but that's okay. Um, there is something from Microsoft now called Moo. It's called Project Moo. Yeah. And this is firmware software as a service, which is really cool. It's open source and everything, and it has something to do with devices. However, it has nothing to do with Moo. So, you know, I, I, I put that in there just as a reference so people, okay, like there's Project Moo and then there's Moo. Moo, however, um, I was uh, emailing with Nicholas, the lead developer, and I said, hey, did anyone see this? Um, has anyone done any example of Turtle in Moo? Because you can use Turtle if you know what Turtle, Turtle is. Turtle is so weird. It's like built into every Python. Yep. And it's like, it's in the documentation, but it's like chapter 28, so like nobody ever gets that far. But like, yeah, there's a built in turtle graphical drawing system with a GUI window built into Python. Like, not a package. It is built into native Python. Yeah, so you can use turtle straight up in uh, Moo. And I did, and I'm just like, this is really neat. So we're going to have some more articles and more about Moo. And then this is a preview. Uh, we got permission from Nordic to do this poster. So that's the Nordic logo yeah. with CircuitPython. Um, Python 4. Yeah, this is, this is our, we're going to do a poster for each one. We've done a poster for three. Poster for one and two. Um, we just didn't get time to do the posters, and I think I thought of it around three, anyways. Um, so well, we didn't, we weren't like really into it. Till, yeah, till and also it's like you have to make sure you get a couple versions in before you start doing posters. Anyways. I think we had a cake for two. I think we did. Okay, um, so Python so four, we had a poster. Poster will be available soon. Yeah. Nordic said this was totally cool. They're into it. They love Circuit Python. Yeah. So um, everyone's into it. We still have our call for translations. Check out the blog post and more. PyCon is next year. That's one of the events. Um, all this is in Awesome Circuit Python. If you want this list, we keep it updated frequently. This newsletter comes out every single week, adafruitdaily.com. We are officially celebrating two years of Python on microcontrollers. Thousands of people read it every single week. Thank you so much for making this, I think, the most popular Python on hardware. I'm calling it. I think it's the most popular yeah. Python on hardware. And that is Python on hardware. Loser. Sign up if you haven't. Okay.